Welcome to this QuickBooks 2020 tutorial for beginners on how to reconcile your bank account. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. So I want to walk through in QuickBooks Desktop 2020 how you're going to reconcile your bank account. Okay, so this assumes that you are entering transactions, you are entering bills, paying bills, uh, recording debit card transactions, you know, you've got invoices, you've got deposits, you could have sales receipts and deposits. Okay, so you're going out throughout the month and you're recording everything in QuickBooks. Now the end of the month comes and you get your bank statement. This is a really, really crucial step that you need to do in QuickBooks to make sure that you're checking account balance, savings account, money market, whatever it is, that balance matches the bank, okay? Uh, because if it doesn't, you could be missing some, you know, expenses, uh, you could be missing some deposits, you risk possibly bouncing a check, uh, whatever the case may be. And so this video is going to show you how to reconcile your bank statement, okay? Again, very important step to do this every single month. All right, so here we are on the home screen, and uh, you can see you've got the option here, Reconcile, uh, or you can go up to Banking, and you can choose uh, Reconcile right here. Okay, so I'll choose this. All right, so this screen comes up, and first of all, you want to make sure you have the right account, checking account. Look at your statement from the bank, all right? Make sure the statement date is correct. The beginning balance, in this video, we're going to assume this is correct, okay? So we're going to say that this is what's on the statement 8263820 and then you're going to just take the ending balance from your statement all right whatever the ending balance is so in this example we're going to assume it's 84 515 32 all right if you have any service charges or any interest that you earned you're going to enter them here put in the date and put uh, the appropriate account that these go to. Okay, so bank service charges would go to bank service charges. Interest earned would go to an interest income account. And if you're going to classify those, you can do that. All right, so now we're going to hit continue. All right, so you'll see here, let me, uh, let me go ahead and unmark all these. Okay, so this will come up like this in your uh, screen to where none of this stuff is checked off, which means that none of it has cleared. So you'll notice here a couple things. First of all, I suggest that you click on hide transactions after the statement end date, all right? Otherwise, it's gonna have all your transactions here. It just makes it easier to read, all right? Now you'll notice a couple uh, buttons down here. You can mark all the transactions on mark. You can go to go to so if you want to you know go to this transaction highlight it click go to all right now you've got a beginning balance which is your statement balance and these amounts here will match your statement they need to match your statement and let me show you what i mean so when you check off something it adds it to a check and other payment and if you click on a deposit, it's going to put it in the deposit. So on the, on the statement, your actual bank statement, you'll have a summary that shows, you know, X number of deposits, X number of checks and payments. Those totals should match your statement. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at your bank statement and you're going to say, okay, this cleared the bank. It shows up on your statement. This cleared the bank. So you're going to go through and you're going to check off all your checks and payments and you're going to check off all your deposits. All right. Now, what some people do is they just mark them all and then they go through and uncheck the ones that didn't clear. Totally up to you how you do this. All right. Now we're going to. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just hold down my left mouse button and drag to show that all of these cleared. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. All right. So you're going to go through and you're going to check off which ones now. A quick way to know if you have balanced or not is you're going to look down here to this difference, this difference of negative 3,474.39. This needs to be zero. All right. So when you have reconciled, this will be zero. If you are not reconciled, this will not be zero. So right now it says we uh, are, are not reconciled. And if you go to click reconcile now, you'll see, look, there's a discrepancy between your statement and the transactions you selected. All right, so you have a couple of options. You can return to this reconciliation, which is what I recommend. 
you can leave, you can enter adjustment. Now, if this difference is like $5 and you're looking and looking and looking and you can't find where the difference is, just enter an adjustment and move on. All right. But if it's, it gets to be a fair amount, you know, 3,474 is a pretty good amount. We want to come back here and look for this. All right. So we go back through our statement and we say, okay, oh my gosh, this stuff cleared, this stuff cleared, this stuff cleared. And I have a difference of 932.92. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to go back through and say, oh, you know what? This one right here, I checked this and this didn't clear actually. So I'm going to uncheck that. And now you'll notice that the difference is zero. All right. Now, if you need to go back and modify any of this, you click this, takes you back here. It's so like, say you, you forgot to enter a service charge or interest. Maybe you put the ending balance in wrong, whatever the case may be, you can modify that. All right. So the goal here again is these amounts are going to match your statement and this is going to be zero. You can always leave this to come back to it later if you're not reconciling and you can't find the difference. Or when you get to zero, you click reconcile now. And you'll see here, it's going to say, congratulations, uh, you have reconciled. So you can uh, either display or print the summary and the detail reconciliation. Let me just show you what that looks like. Okay. All right, so the reconciliation summary is basically, here's everything that cleared, here's the cleared balance, here's the uncleared transactions. These are the items that have not cleared yet as of the statement date. They have not cleared the bank. So your register balance in QuickBooks should be 96,642. This is what confuses people a lot, is that your register balance is gonna be different than your bank balance. And that's because there are checks that have not cleared and deposits that have not cleared. You generally want to go uh, with your register balance if you have been reconciling your accounts. If you have not been reconciling, be very, very careful because you could risk, again, bouncing something or, or uh, just having the wrong balance in your account. All right, and then you can look at the reconciliation detail, and this just gives you all the detail behind this summary. All right. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below, leave a question. Uh, head over to the QuickBooks University. We'd love to teach you how to use uh, QuickBooks. We have QuickBooks desktop training. We have QuickBooks online training. We got you covered over there. Plus, as a member, I answer your personal QuickBooks questions. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.